<laughs> Hello everyone. It's Joe. <laughs> It, it's fine. I'm sorry, we, we were having technical difficulties, but we're okay now. So today we're going to be doing um, these little fellas. They are um, DIY pumpkins because it's fall and everybody loves pumpkin, I hope. Or pumpkin spice because that's the thing that everybody likes. But anyways, this is a super easy decor um, kind of thing that you can make at home. So... Um, and you can use home stuff like toilet paper, um, fabric, scissors, sticks that you find in the yard, and luckily I found sticks outside of the library. So I'm going to wait a couple minutes and see um, if people get on. Um, hello, whoever just got on. Yo, comment if you want to say anything to me. I'll talk to you guys. But yeah, um, fall is finally upon us, so we can start, well, you could have started doing your fall decor a really long time ago. That's totally okay as well. Um, just a quick reminder, we are open again for browsing, so if you want to come in and get books, uh, movies, uh, please come visit us. Especially the teens, come visit Miss Jo. She misses you guys. That's me. Um, hi, whoever's uh, just got on. You guys can comment so I know who you are. That'd be cool. So, like I said, you know, you can do your decor however you want because some people started decorating a long time ago. Um, so. Alright, there's another three people. People keep coming and going. Anyways, um, I'll just keep waiting a little bit to make sure that um, people are getting on. Can you guys hear me okay? I know that I've had to use a microphone lately because people can't hear me very well. I'm going to share this on my Facebook page real quick. So, Okay, guys. So like I said, you just need ribbon, and it can be any type of ribbon. I got like the fall decor type of ribbon because it's super cute, and you can tell it's on my little pumpkin as well. So, um, I know that toilet paper can be scarce at the moment, but if you have any extra toilet paper at home, um, you can use it. Plus, uh, once fall is over and you start putting your like Christmas decor and all of that good stuff, um, you can just pull this apart and use your toilet paper so you know recycling your stuff is great too all right so um my in general instructions would be if you want to make it a little thinner like this one is actually i unrolled it about 18 times you can unroll it as many times as you want depending on what size you want so this is 18 times that i unrolled it and that's what it looks like um, this one I'm not going to unroll so that you guys can see that you can make it like bigger, you can make it smaller, it's up to you what you want to do. The fabric can be any fabric, so if you have any fabric lying around at home, um, or you could even use like old sweaters and whatnot. Um, the recommended size for this is 18, um, by 21. That's, that's what this fabric is, 18 by, uh, 21. And... You lay it flat and take your roll of toilet paper and place it right in the middle, like so. And then usually what I do is I start with one corner. It doesn't matter what corner you start with, but start with a corner because um, it'll be easier to tuck the rest of the stuff in. So just tuck it right through the middle. There's like no science to this. And then I make sure to like um, kind of little, leave it a little scrunched up here at the top so that you can adjust it to make it look a little like, th like there's lines going down it like a normal pumpkin would look like. And then just go through each corner and tuck the toilet or the fabric right into the middle of the toilet paper. 
So this one is going to be bigger than the one I made. So I'm just going to take a stick from outside and you can you can use any kind of like um, I've seen some with uh, wine um, wine caps um, I'm using actual sticks that I found outside um, that were on the ground of course um, and then just stick it in there so that it looks like there's the effect of having a stem and the pumpkin looks pretty large and like I said um, you can leave uh, a little bit scrunched up at the top so that you can pull it apart a little bit more and if there's anything loose just tuck it in. I'm going to tuck some of this in there. Okay. Alright, so once again you just put your stump, your, your uh, piece of um, twig that you got and then stick it in there. Or you can, you can use a larger one, it just depends on your preference like this one is longer and it'll stick out a little bit and then I'm just kind of putting it off to the side it's up to you so what you can do is take some hot glue and put it um, on your stick and then stick it in there and it should stick in there but I prefer to just leave the stem out because if I want to do some kind of like garland that goes around it or um, kind of want to make it look a certain way with other ones that I'm making then I'm just going to leave it um, as is and not glue it. Um, so you can do whatever you want with ribbon. You can get thicker ribbon, you can use the little thin ribbon. It's up to you what you want. So, And you can use as much ribbon as you want. This one I just tied it like I would tie shoelaces. Um, it can be as simple or as elaborate as you want. I'm just going to um, tie it, make it look kind of kind of interesting. Since it's a bigger one, I'm actually going to probably tie some on there. I'll leave that little piece there so I, it can give it a little bit of life. And then just tie a ribbon around it. It's up to you the type of ribbon you want to make or you can use burlap. Plus it's super easy. It literally takes like three minutes to make, if that, probably a minute or two. And then you can put it anywhere around your house. You can put it in your kitchen. I would probably put it in the living room where there's nothing that is close to it that there's heat. But as you can tell, this one's bigger than this one. But you can make multiples of them. As, as so, like that. Can you see it? Okay, like that. And like I said, um, use toilet paper. Um, if you have um, like smaller rolls that are about to get finished, you can make like really small ones and um, use half of the 18 by 21. Um, but yeah, you can use anything, virtually anything, um, the fabric you buy at the store or old sweaters that you have at home, just cut them 18 by 21 and um, you'll be able to get and make your own pumpkins at home. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, I will be back next week with a wine glass um, DIY, a little monster um, DIY to make that you can um, put in your room or give to mom and dad to put anywhere around the room. So uh, come around to see me um, and uh, thank you for tuning in again guys. We'll see you again next week. Maybe. Oh, hi whoever got on. <laughs> Hi, another person in the canal. You guys can say hi. Just comment on there and let me know who it is. But yeah, I made the pumpkins, so. See you guys next week.